In this movie, we'll take a look at rotational events, and a rotation is basically when you put two fingers on your mobile phone and then rotate them to ro simply uh, rotate the object you want to. So we'll start off by opening a new Air for Android project, and let's draw a simple shape on our stage. So we'll draw a rectangle, not a circle this time. Double click to select both the fill and the stroke, and then hit F8 to convert it to a symbol. I'll give it an instance name of rectangle. And then we'll create a new layer. Call it Actions. Then click on the first frame of my Actions layer and hit F9 to open up my Actions panel. And first we'll set the multi-touch input mode. This one going to be a rotation and the rotation is, an, uh, is a gesture. So we'll set the multi-touch input mode to gesture. So write multi touch dot input mode set it equal to multi touch input mode dot all uppercase gesture semicolon to end your statement. Now we'll add an event listener to our rectangle. So write rectangle dot add event listener is going to be a transform gesture event transform gesture event dot gesture or uppercase underscore rotate and then comma and the name of the function is going to be rotate Now to create the function rotate, write function rotate. It has an event variable of transform gesture event. So copy this, paste it, close our parentheses, and then colon void. Now the set of braces. In this function we want to uh, rotate the rectangle in accordance to our uh, finger rotation. So we'll set the the rectangle's rotation equal to our finger's rotation. So write rectangle dot rotation equal to rectangle dot rotation plus e dot rotation so very simple the rotation of the rectangle is equal to the current rotation of our rectangle which is equal to, to zero by default plus the rotation of our event variable which is going to be our fingers basically so control enter test our movie and hover over the touch and gesture tab and first turn on the touch layer I'm not going to use the click and drag but the rotation under gesture here the rotation button click on it and set if you read the instructions here you need to set the first uh, touch point representing your first finger and then click and hold down on the second point like this and then simply rotate and you see that the rectangle rotates at the same speed as your curse mouse cursor or your fingers on a mobile tab would rotate. And you're not constricted to uh, uh, this specific code. We can set the rotation of rectangle of our rectangle equal to double the rotation of our fingers. So write e dot rotation asterisk two. Now the rectangle must rotate as twice as fast as our fingers. So go to touch and gesture. And as we see, if I rotate it half a rotation, the rectangle would have rotated a full rotation. And I'm not even stuck to rotation. I can basically a rotation is a set of data that's being given to our code and it 
does with this data whatever we tell it to. So I can set the rectangle's rotation or the event's rotation equals to the rectangle's x position. So if I say rectangle.x is equal to rectangle.x plus e.rotation and test my movie. You can see that now when I rotate I'm actually moving the rectangle left and right. And similarly I can do the same by going up and down. Feel free to go crazy with this. Try using it with Y properties, alpha properties, scaling properties, and whatever you could think of.